today I'm at the J.W. Cooper School. Today it's a, a community center, the J.W. Cooper Community Center, and it is um, the biggest food bank for the Shenandoah Valley, or maybe the only food bank for the Shenandoah Valley. Right now you can see it's a little dilapidated and um, recently there was some collapse to it on one of the sides which we'll see here shortly so this lot here that you can see I'm told from people who went to this school and grew up in the town that this was a whole nother building associated with the school it was the library it was called the Lehigh building or Lehigh library and there was a tunnel or a hallway that connected the school itself to the library building. I'm not sure exactly where that hallway or tunnel would be or was, but it looks like maybe right here where it was patched. Couldn't say, but I'm not gonna get too close because it collapsed and the top here, you can see these bricks aren't in the best shape either. They're probably gonna come down as well. I'm not going to walk over this hill, but get a look. Go down there. And then up here also across the street. Oh, what do you got here? Got a lady. Probably somebody's house decoration that blew away. Put it up here. That's better. Much better. Across the street here, this parking lot, I'm told was called the Wilson Building, right here. And it's where they had music class, shop class, and I'm sure other activities, so the kids would go to school here and walk over. Okay, we're gonna take a walk down. You can see the recent signage. It's a shame these people do a good thing and they're, they're giving people food and providing the community help and now their building is condemned, so. If you can, try and help out the cause, whatever these people need. You can see the original plaque established in 1918. Plaque through the generosity of Neil Goodman. So, cool fact about this building as well. In 1918, this is the girl's son. In 1918, um, there was a, a pandemic called the Spanish flu pandemic. And the whole area was overrun with Spanish flu. Everybody was sick, people were dying. Um, the morgues were overrun, they didn't have anywhere to go. So this building was used as a hospital and a morgue in 1918. It was built for a school, then had to be used for a morgue. So imagine, 1918 filled with nurses doctors sick people not too far off after going through covid see the wood so the the owner has been fixing this building up the best he he can in the i believe he's owned it for 10 years and he's been trying to fix everything up because inside there's gyms and other architecture and cool stuff but you could see the window up there it looks a little bent that might not be very safe or good so I'm going to stay back but here that I'm coming on is the problem the reason there's an issue right now Lots of bricks everywhere. So 
So this had collapsed yesterday. You could see it's up at the top of this larger hole. Not very good. I'm glad no one was down here. No cars were down here. Somebody could have easily been coming out of that door and got hit. That's not not safe. I'm not going to go any closer. Another cool fact about this area where I am, I'm standing currently, this lot here was a, a train depot. So the train tracks went to Monty City this way. Not sure the years on that, but uh, my grandfather told me that Itali certain Italian families would all pool their money together and they would get a a train car filled with grapes and then they would uh, split the grapes when the train car arrived and they'd make wine and and do other things with it cool little memory and then I, I was walking or driving by and I had noticed this building too I can't tell what it says United JW IB cloth company so um my grandfather told me this used to be a rag company so maybe someone can comment let us know what the the name of that that was as well take a walk over here it says no trespassing so i'm obviously not gonna go inside but it's open so i can peek without going in like people just freaking throw their trash in there Obviously don't come here, don't go in this building, please. <laughs> the whole roof's off, it's dangerous, and you will get in trouble with the police. I'm not going in here. But check it out. It looks like clearly people don't follow the no trespassing sign. It looks like a dumping ground for people's household rubbish. Hmm. All right, back to J.W. Cooper School. So the school originally was called the Shenandoah High School, and it was built because this area had the highest percentage of people uh, living in it at the time. And this is the 1920s and 1930s during the coal boom. So they had 30,000 people living within the one square mile of Shenandoah. And this, if you didn't know, actually was going to be the capital of our state instead of Harrisburg, Shenandoah was. And I, I believe the downfall of the coal industry was the reason it ended up going in Harrisburg, but yeah. Another fact I was told by a family member about this this building and area in the 1920s, or not, excuse me, in the 1940s there was coal subsidies, or coal, coal subsidies, or I'm not sure the exact pronunciation, excuse me. Um, coal mine collapses all over town and it caused the, the building to be shut down for, not sure how long, maybe a year in the 1940s, but yeah. Thank you for joining me and exploring and learning some history and hope that this old building can be saved, but we probably won't see it standing for very much longer.
after 106 years it may have come to an end. Thanks for watching, subscribe and like. Thank you.